Welcome to Detroit, everyone, as the Pistons get ready to defend home court in the Eastern Conference. The NBA during the holiday season, what could be better? Welcome, everyone, with my partner Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. This is Kevin Harlan. Great to have you with us. Taking a look at Indiana. They like their chances, but this could be a tough game for them. Facing up against a talented roster, they'll have to show that they're the better team. Well, it's been a terrific season for them. I mean, they are an elite team in this league now. We've seen that week in and week out. Very consistent. But pretty soon, the true test is going to come. For and earlier, Doris Burke spoke with head coach Lawrence Frank. Uh, what'd you find out, Doris? Well, guys, he said he doesn't want to see their offense get bogged down tonight. Ball movement, that's the main thing for us. But it's been something we've been doing very well, and that's what we're going to concentrate on. Guys? Doris, thanks. Guys, shooting is a chief concern for them. You know, it could be um, this coaching staff has seen something they haven't really liked in regard to, uh, to shooting. Maybe a, a poor week of practice, perhaps. Well, they can't really think before a game about whether the shots are going to go in or not. I mean, it's all about playing hard and trying to get good shots and then building your confidence from there. Six to shoot. Here's Villanueva. And the go-ahead bucket, no good. Good solid defense on the perimeter there. Challenging the shot and not fouling. Even the best shooters can be bothered by his defense. Sure. Second chance shot. And that one's good by Miller. Miller's got seven points in the game. And right now, he can do no wrong. Everything's working for him this quarter. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out east already. We are in December. Look at Indiana. They're in second. Looking to take over the first one. And of course, the Detroit Pistons. Five games behind. Well, right now for the Pistons, they've climbed the ranks this season. They've definitely changed for the better. And now they find themselves really within shouting distance of the top. And that's a huge accomplishment because they were not that close last year. So they've made major improvement. And we'll see if they can continue to, uh, to go on this upward path and uh, carry this momentum forward. Uh, it's a pleasure to watch on the offense again. I know I wouldn't want to guard. Here's the Beast, Villanueva covering. Here's the Beast. It's good. And the Pacers lead by two. Here's Gordon. Five points in the game. Here's Hamilton. Chance there to take the lead. Missing. Here's the Beast. And it's Gordon picking him up. Rip Hamilton with the rebound. as well. The beat. Here is Bynum. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. And so in the game for the Pacers. The Beast in at the four spot. George Hill out there with Paul George. And it's West and it's Hibbert in at the pivot spot manning the middle. outside and that is good. Gordon's got the opening field goal of the second quarter for the Pistons. Hill kicks the joy. Takes it up. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. You know he's not going to make a mistake when he gets in tight. That's a good hoop there. Now final. He's coming off a 16 point game against Chicago. Going away though. Hamilton outside. This one for three. Hill pulls it in. Indiana leading. Moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Warriors. Yeah, and their long range shooting really deserted them in that game, guys. They couldn't get anything to go from that line. And that made all the difference in the game. I mean, they clearly tried to use the three pointer as the primary weapon, but because they weren't falling, it was disastrous. Here's Bynum, averaging 10 points per contest. He's picked up by Hill. Here's
Here's Villanueva. That's in, coming off the assist from Bynum. Villanueva's got his third bucket of the night. Here's George. Defended by Gordon. A nice shot by George. George has got seven points in the game. Carving them up inside there, Kevin. I mean, the defense has been vulnerable in there. Yeah, that's three straight field goals in the paint area. That's really good offense. Villanueva back and down. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. And we finish one half of basketball. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from... No better way to unwind on a Sunday night. We've got your HP. It'll be the Heat out at American Airlines Arena against the Net. I'm the best, I don't have to practice. Double team, I don't have to pass it. Ball the hard line. Here's Gordon, 11 points in the game. And here is Malone. I'm open, I'm open. Prince with it, and Granger picks him up defensively. Prince misses. They have a nice lead here and have really controlled the glass for the majority of the game. Kudos to them for their strong effort on the backboard. Yeah, and they're sending a message, too, Clark. They're really coming out and playing a very physical game here. Line them out there with Ben Gordon. Then it's Greg Monroe. Then there's Charlie Villanueva. And it's Prince in at the three spot. That's the five and the four for the Pistons. Here's George. Here's the Beast. Good. And the Pacers lead by 17. Kevin, nice high percentage look right there. Now Bynum. They're moving the ball. Shot clock at five. With one on the clock. Again, the miss by the Pistons. It's been a cold spell for them coming out of the half, missing their first three shots. A tough start. That's just a horrible decision. You got to be more patient with the ball. Prince, the pass to Gordon. Back to Prince. And it's Miller picking him up. That's tipped. Stolen by George. What a great job playing the passing game. A nice shot by Granger. Granger's got eight points. Great job to hit his teammate on that move, Kevin. Now here's Bynum. Lock at six. From 20 feet out, Danny Granger pulls it in. Granger's got three rebounds so far in the game. What a sluggish, muddy start to the second half. Still scoreless. Bynum against Miller. He's guarded by Bynum. With the clock winding down, no good. Prince with the defensive effort. Pistons trailed by 19. Looking to end the drought. Jump shot is good. Here's Miller. 13 points in the game. Back to Granger. Here's the Beast. Guarded now by Tayshawn Prince. Good luck. And that one's good. Miller's got four points in the quarter. Offensively just hammering away in the paint.
And that's 10 straight points inside, too. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. This game against Indiana, the first time they've met this year. Well, these are a pair of conference rivals that are going to be very familiar with each other by the end of the season. Well, this is just the first of four games they'll see each other. Here's what Detroit's going with right now. Jason Maxeel's checked in for Villanueva. And Richard Hamilton has subbed in for Ben Gordon. Bynum dishes to Hamilton. He dishes it to Maxeel. Hamilton kicks to Bynum. Shot clock at six. Takes the three. That drops. Hamilton's got his third basket of the night right there. Starting out this series, Clark, they're just, you know, getting a feel for each other, feeling out this year's roster. That's exactly right, Kevin. You know, in the early season, you do a little scouting. This is where you get your bearings and kind of figure out what you need to do to beat those guys. I love these rivals. Mm -hmm. Prince backing him down. Find him against Miller. And here is Prince, averaging 12 points a game. Bynum, covered by Miller, and the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. Let's take a second to see the teams that have been the toughest inside this season so far. Number one, the Pacers. Well, if you're a fan of defense, you have to love this team because they get after it at that end of the floor, particularly around the basket with their shot blocking. Keith Bogan, he's checked in for Paul George. Find him against Miller. Charity stripe shot. And again, it's Indiana converting. They're just getting better offensively as the game goes along, making good choices and getting high percentage shots. And they're playing hard and playing smart too, Steve. Um, they've just been very, very good. Prince outside. Max Seal up top. Prince outside. There's the three. No good from Hamilton. This is a nice lead they've built. Very good job controlling the glass this game. Uh, you got to be pleased as a coach to see how your team has boxed out. Very fundamentally sound basketball. Count that one. Hibbert's got six. Now Bynum. Hamilton outside. Passes to Monroe. He's against Hibbert. Hamilton, the pass to Monroe. The 10-footer, he kicks to Maxiel. Granger against Prince. Over Granger. Here's Maxiel. Pacers with the rebound. Well, sometimes he really lacks the confidence he needs when he's driving to the basket. And Bogan gets it to go. Showing no mercy. They are getting after them at both ends of the floor. Continuing to add to the lead as the minutes tick away. Time call here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. This game coming on the heels of their win against Chicago. And the major factor in that game, guys, is the glass. I mean, this team dominated at both ends of the floor. I mean, I think they were just so much more aggressive down low. I mean, they fought hard for position, and then they attacked the ball every time a shot went up. Right, looking at who's out there now for the Pistons. Charlie Villanueva has checked in for Max Seal. Pietras comes in for Tayshawn Prince. Rodney Stuckey subbed in for Will Bynum. Stuckey with it. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. Covered by Miller. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. And a chance now to check out the schedule for Indiana. They host the 76ers after this game. That game is the first and last of their homestand. Here's Miller. Now the Pacers with it. They're on a 15-5 run here. He's guarded by Stuckey. 13 feet out. Goes back up. And that one's good by Miller. Miller's got six in the quarter. And this is why they have the big lead. The rebounding has been dominant. You know, guys, the uh, plus eight rebounding, I don't think it tells the whole story. I mean, they've been the more physical team from the outset. That's been the difference, their physicality. Shot by Villanueva, no good. 
Their offense seems completely out of sync here. They're on the wrong end of a big run. And then at the other end, it's been bucket after bucket after bucket, giving up a huge run here. And here comes Hamilton. Nine points in the game so far. Stuckey dishes to Hamilton. And good coming on the assist by Rodney Stuckey. Hamilton's got 11. Clark, one thing we've seen from these guys is excellent ball movement. And you love to see that, Kevin. I mean, I love watching unselfish play, and I know Steve enjoys that, too. Yeah, that's the best part of the game. I mean, a five-man team. And it's the Pistons with the ball. Here in the fourth, they've allowed just four points. Their next game is at Oracle Arena, so a road game with the Warriors. And that one will start off a three-game road trip for the team. And so in the game for the Pacers, the Beast in its center. George Hill out there with Miller. Then there's Tyler Hansberg. And it's McRoberts in at the four. Shot denied. And here are the Pacers now. They're on a 17-7 run. Here's the Beast. Right through the D for the layup. Boy, every time they drop it in, they do so from close range. Easy baskets. Yeah, high percentage looks time and time again, guys, and it's paying off for them. The way they're playing this game, I, I like their strategy. Miller against Bynum. Six on the shot clock. And it's Miller picking him up. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. And here's what the Detroit Pistons schedule looks like. They can look forward to the Oracle Arena after this game, the matchup against Golden State. That's game one of a three-game road trip. Keith Bogans, he's checked in for Miller. Here's Hill. The dish to Hansbro. Backs him down. Let's go. And again, it's Indiana converting. They're really making a point of taking it inside and scoring from close range. Well, you have to give some of the credit, or actually the blame, I should say, to the defense. They are not doing anything in the paint area. Here's Gordon. Now Bynum. Back to Gordon. Feeds to Bynum. Lock at six. King. Here's Villanueva. The layup missed. And that rebound pushes their margin to plus five on the boards. Solid job on the glass. Well, it's just part of what they've done here to build this big lead, and it shouldn't be overlooked. I mean, uh, rebounding is a huge part of this game. It just adds to what has already been a great day for him. Bynum kicks to Villanueva. Pistons need to get off a shot here. Gordon outside. Shot seems to be a little awry today, just off a fraction. Um, they've got to have him pick it up, though, and soon. Here's the beast. Got a piece of it. Dives for it. Out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. Down low, down low. Here is McRoberts. Jacks up a three, and the Pacers another three. Here's Bynum. Guys, this offense very effective. Going right at him. And this is where you just start picking apart the defense, and, and now you take their confidence away. You can really take control of this game. Been a rough shooting night for him, but uh, I don't mind that shot. He had a good look at it. A fadeaway. Well, he had to fade away there. The defense was all over him, and he got it off. Just couldn't get it to go. He's picked up by Hill. Austin. Now here's Bynum. The pass to Villanueva. Six to shoot. It's stolen by Hansbro. Well, his four turnovers aren't helping his team's cause at all, are they? The reverse, and he sinks the layup. Hansbro's got four points this quarter. What a move. He saw a window on the other side of the rim, 
and whipped it around for the immaculate reverse. Villanueva backing down. Looking to end the run. Gets it to go. Here is Bogans. Hill left side. Nick Roberts, the pass to Bogans. Kicks it to Hansbro. Monroe on him. Just four to shoot. Tries in the post. Hansbro misses. Here comes Bynum. Outside Gordon. Villanueva backing down. Jumps up. An easy two points on the layup. It's been a little too easy for them inside, hasn't it? Yeah, I think so, Steve. I mean, they've really dictated the action in the paint. Um, that's been their focus, and the defense hasn't mounted much resistance at all. Hill kicks to McRoberts. From 11 feet away, and again, it's Indiana converting. Yeah, we're now starting to see them get some high percentage shots in the paint. Yeah, that's five of their last six buckets inside the lane, so they're getting really high percentage looks down there. Monroe with a screen on Hill. And here is Bynum. He's picked up by Hill. The shot's good from Bynum. You can see the pick there. Got him wide open all the way to the rim. Here's the beast. And McRoberts kicks to Bogans. And the Pacers another three. You can't just get a hand up. You've got to anticipate what he's doing before he shoots. Now a timeout called by Detroit. Well, he's had enough of that lackadaisical defense. They've got to help on penetration and deny all of these points in the paint. Tayshawn Prince has checked in for the Pistons. Here's Gordon. He feeds it to Bynum. Pass to Monroe. Backs him down. Here's Villanueva. Knocks down the three ball. Villanueva's got five points now this quarter. You know, he's a rarity in the NBA, guys. A big man who can launch it from deep. It's back to Hill. Now Bynum defending. And that falls. They haven't been as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. They're playing smart with the lead. I like that. They're being very selective and deliberate in their offense. Um, that's a good strategy when you're on top. Here's Villanueva. Outside Gordon. Loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. Good job using his speed advantage to create the separation he needed for the shot. Here's the beast. Tayshawn Prince with the rebound. Here is Bynum. He's picked up by Hill. Bynum dishes to Villanueva. Now here's Bynum. He's guarded closely. Releases. Tries again. Villanueva passes to Monroe. For three. Tries yet again. Hill pulls it in. Hill's got six rebounds now in the game. They continue to pull down misses, and that's how they're maintaining this lead. Yeah, well, one and done is the recipe for continuing to hold on to a lead. You don't want to let the other team back in it by giving them extra possession. The rebound by Prince. 56 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Villanueva. Nailed from three-point land. There's 49 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Myers from 14 controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. 
Looks like it's over. Double-digit margin, clock running down. Just take care of the ball now. Yep, it's a simple equation. This one's over. Use the clock and take care of the arm. Here's Bynum. Dishes to Monroe. That's good, and it's Bynum with the assist. They could have used this run a while ago. It may not make much difference now. Yeah, they hit that snooze button a little too much because they showed up late to this game. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Stolen by Monroe. Great defensive work right there. The quick hands lead to the turnover. And the basket by Gordon. Here's Hill. Here's the beast. Good, and it's Hill picking up the assist. And that ought to do it. That should seal the deal. Yep, I agree. Closing it out with Relic. So no problem for Indiana as they get the win.